Hello Displorers, welcome back again to our channel. We want to thank you for joining us. If you're just joining us for the first time, here at Edusplorer, we go beyond borders and also to bring you a lot of educating information. Well, today we shall be shining the light on the country Rwanda. Rwanda, if for those of you who don't know Rwanda, Rwanda formally pronounced as Rwanda, officially the Republic of Rwanda, is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley where the African Great Lakes region and East African converge. It's one of the smallest country in the African mainland and also the capital at the moment is Kigali. Small and landlocked, Rwanda is hilly and fertile with a densely packed population of about 12.5 million people. It borders the far large and richer Democratic Republic of Congo as well as its closest East African neighbors like Tanzania, Uganda and also Burundi. With the support of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, Rwanda has been able to make important economic and structural reforms and sustain its economic growth rates over the last decade. From the political context, Rwanda has guarded its political stability since 1994 genocide. Parliamentary elections in 2018, for example, saw women fill 64% of the seats. The Rwandan Patriotic Front maintained an absolute majority in the Chamber of Deputies. And for the first time, two opposition parties and the Democratic Green Party of Rwanda and the Social Party won two seats each in the Parliament. President Paul Kagame was re-elected to the 70-year term in 2018 following a constitutional amendment that was in 2015. The country has grown and of course there should be the economic front. Economically, Rwanda now aspires to reach middle income country. The status by that's going to be like 2035 and high income country status for 2050. This is ambitious. The aspiration will be carried out through a series of seven year national strategies for transformation underpinned by detailed sectoral strategies and also that aim towards achievement of a sustainable development goals. They came also with some implication for the five-year economic development to reduce poverty and to enhance the economy to make sure that Rwanda experienced a robust economic and social performance growth which we just recently saw of 7.5 over the decade of 2018 while per capita growth domestic products for the GDP grew also by 5% annually, which is great for a country that's emerging. If you are new to our channel, thanks for watching. We would encourage you to subscribe, share our videos to your different networks so we continue to bring you inspiring content. In this episode, we shall also be looking at very inspiring facts about Rwanda, which would amaze you as we proceed with this episode. Looking at Rwanda economically, that's post-COVID-19, uh, Rwanda was in the middle of an economic boom prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Economic growth exceeded 10% in 2019, driven mostly by large public investments for implementation of the national strategy, which we just mentioned, and the transformation. Strong growth was expected in, to continue in 2020, but that's not the case. The global pandemic has disrupted international flow of goods and services with, with significant spillover to the broader global economy. Experts and terrorism also are taking a strong hit amid disruption in international trade and travel. Rwanda is already feeling mountain balance of payment and also fiscal pressure. This could negatively impact the provision of public health services with respect to the COVID-19. Of course, the country is working really hard in that aspect and also in terms of response and preparedness capacity. As well as adversely affecting the provision of the essential health services delivery in Rwanda, as healthcare workers and fiscal resources are redirected to emergency response as well. To help the government prevent, detect it and respond to the threat that's posed by this that may affect the economy in Rwanda, um, also the World Bank stepped in as well to assist the country to make sure that it maintains its upward development and growth to enhance its economic performance for the 2021-2022 uh, as well. In terms of development at the as a country, 
Public investments have been the main driver of growth in recent years. External, finance and external financing through grants, concessional and non-concessional borrowing play an important role in financing of the public investments. Growth slowdown of the 2016 and 2017 highlighted the limits of the public sector focus that led to growth model. Going forward, the private sector will play a bigger role in helping to ensure economic growth, low domestic savings, skills and also high cost of energy are some of the major constraints to prevent investment. Stronger dynamism in the private sector will also help to sustain the high investment rate which Uganda has involved itself at the moment and also to accelerate growth, promoting domestic savings and also in view of any critical social issues that may come up. From the social context, Rwanda's strong economic growth was accompanied by substantial improvement in the living standards. With two-third drop in child mortality and near universal primary school enrollment, a strong focus on homegrown policies and also initiatives has contributed to significant improvement in access to services and also human development indicators. Measured by National Poverty Line, Poverty declined from 59 to about 39 percent between 2001 and also 2014, but was almost stagnant between 2017 and 2018. The official inequality measures, which is the Gini index, of course, uh, has proven that uh, there has been a 0.5 um, in 2016, 26 rather, and also in the 2017. The country has invested usually in infrastructure development and also in public investments as well. As you can see, the economy has skyrocketed, improvement in also public transports and also uh, local development issues. As you can see that uh, Rwanda has invested hugely in, the, in transportation as well. And the new airline, the government is making sure that Rwanda becomes very competitive in the 21st century and it's also important to note that uh, most people contribute to this development and the government has policies in place which stamps out corruption to a certain extent and which has also helped to uh, propel the growth uh, in rwanda if you are just joining us for the first time or new to our channel we encourage you to subscribe and also share our videos to your different network we shall move straight to some very important facts about Rwanda that you never knew and we shall be bringing you this information as we go down some interesting things uh, about uh, Rwanda. Rwanda has world's record of highest, that's just number one, Rwanda has world's record of highest representation of women in parliament, that's about 60% of parliament members are women. Two. Rwanda is only country in the world where people alongside their president participate in national service activities which is normally called Umuganda there every last Saturday of the month. 3. Rwanda is one of the top 5 most developed countries in, since 2000. According to the World Bank, that's number 4, doing business report of 2016, Rwanda is the second African country to do business. It ranks behind Mauritius, which is the first in Africa and 49th globally uh, in terms of business registration in the areas to advance growth. The country is considered, number five, the country is considered as one of the best country with high internet connectivity in Africa as Rwandan government is spreading the internet facilities like constructions of fiber optics in all parts of the country. Number six, Rwanda is one of Africa's leading digital revolutions as every service is needed from the public institutions, for instance, tax declarations and payment, traffic penalties, payments, business registration, and so on, are done online. Number seven, the country is the origins of the small African alliance. And number eight, Rwanda's government implemented the use of technology to extractions of methane gas on the water of Lake Kivu and turn it into energy electricity. And number nine, the capital city of Rwanda, Kigali, is the most cleanest city in Africa 
as the government of Rwanda implemented the ban for the use of plastics bags and sachets, Masashi as is known for environmental protection. Rwanda also have five volcanoes which are commonly known uh, as Mehumbura, Bisoko and uh, Jigimba. These are the highest volcanoes among others with over 4,500 above sea level. Number 11. The country has 23 lakes and numerous rivers. The countries experience temperature which could go up to about 25 to 30 degrees during the day and 15 at night throughout the year. Rwanda has three national parks and also it's a country that has emerged greatly in terms of its development. And finally, the Rwanda is a very peaceful country and secure country in Africa to live into and for investments. Despite all the roses and also very good things that are happening in this country, Rwanda also has its own history, which has um, been that of the genocide over the past couple of years, and that also painted the country in a way and has put a shadow above the nation in several ways. Of course, the country came out very strong, strongly, and they are currently propelling themselves to the future. Upon all the development and growth, critics would say that uh, the president have stayed in power for so many years and that is not a democratic institution and most people would say that it has also not implemented structural reforms in rural areas in some part of um, Rwanda as definitely seen on TV. Uh, of course, there are economic challenges and other things that's like any other government but again, they are trying to make sure that the stamp themselves on the international map and scene. Uh, they are moving towards the right direction, we have to say. But what's left to be seen now at the moment should be what happens after the post-COVID-19. And hopefully, the country can still propel itself and to become a country to reckon with for the future. Again, thanks for watching. That's what we have on shining our light on the Rwanda today. If the next time you plan to travel to Rwanda, hopefully our information is going to help you to give you a clear picture. There are several things to do while you go to Kigali and other uh, great cities around uh, Rwanda itself. For now, also make sure that uh, you read some further information about this uh, great African city or great African country. And thanks for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you again soon to our next video. And please don't forget to leave a comment and also drop us a message